waters of Niagara, in their descent to the sea, provide power that is unfailing. The flow of power from Niagara is as continuous as the flow of water over the falls. But water generates only a small part of the power needed by commerce, agriculture, and industry. To provide dependable power for each job, no matter where it may be, there are various sizes and types of engines each one a unit capable of supplying a flow of power as unfailing as the power of Niagara. The story of business is the story of power, for practically everyone is a buyer of power in one form or another. Sometimes power is sold as a ride on a Ferris wheel. The great wheels turn, and the safety of the riders depends on the continuous flow of power that gives them the thrill of a ride through the air. All over the country, power units operate dozens of amusement devices. When the show is over, the engines are easily loaded onto a truck for transporting. In a film laboratory, power contributes to the making of motion pictures. Film must move continuously, so a power unit is installed as a standby in case other power fails. Recently, this engine spun into action, paying for itself within a few hours' operation. America on vacation enjoys the comfort of camps and cottages. In many places, power units provide the convenience of hot and cold running water and electric lights. This small engine is lighting a string of cottages and heating water as well. Far from the usual sources of power, in Big Bear Parkway, California, more than a mile above sea level, the tourist finds electricity for driving pumps and lighting an up-to-date service station. The electricity is generated by a power unit adjusted to operate efficiently at this high altitude. Customers approve of saving money. Economizing for his customers, a cleaner operates 10 motors, five ironers, and more than 100 lights from a small gas-operated power unit. For refrigeration, dependable power units are bringing continuous Arctic temperatures to markets and storehouses. This power ensures cold storage 24 hours a day. A valve in head engine drives an ice machine, a large water pump, and a brine agitator, providing fast freezing day and night without interruption. In addition to meeting plant requirements, hundreds of tons of ice is made for outside use. Here's economy for you. A municipal disposal plant comes near to achieving perpetual motion. No fuel to buy because the pumps which circulate and reduce the waste matter are driven by an engine designed to operate on gas. The gas is generated in the disposal digest by heat from the engine exhaust. The engine is also connected to a generator, providing electricity for lights in case of an emergency. Matching strength against the currents of broad rivers, providing efficient economical power for many types of boats. International gasoline and diesel engines are winning the same leadership on the water that they enjoy on land. And although propelling loads to distant places, these engines are never far from dependable service. Easy to handle, economical to operate, international-powered small tractors are favorites for moving merchandise in terminals, warehouses, and shops. Locomotives powered by international diesels are moving freight at many terminal points also. Spotting cars loaded with fruit, the quick-starting diesel-powered engine saves time. And it's vital to save both time and expense when perishable goods are awaiting delivery. The diesel-driven locomotive, pushing many times its weight in heavy refrigerator cars, is a regular miser in saving fuel. Maintaining roads, diesels keep graders moving regardless of summer heat and dust. High-quality materials and skilled workmanship assure thousands of hours of continuous service. So that wherever merchandise moves, on the water, over the rails, or on the highways, international power helps to speed it on its way.
Every field of golden grain represents the work of the farmer and the machinery he uses. Engine power does much of the hard work of farming. Thousands of acres of arid land are made productive by supplying water, pumped by powerful economical diesel engines. Every 24 hours, this diesel-driven pump delivers more than four and a half million gallons of water, enough to cover 171 acres of land to a depth of one inch. Engine-driven pumps raise water to irrigate wheat, fruit, rice, and other crops. And what is more satisfactory than a good stand of rice promising an abundant harvest? By the way, it takes power to prepare the cotton crop for market. Song of the worker joins the hum of engines that operate big suction fans like huge vacuum cleaners pulling the cotton into the gin. As it works, the engines sing the continuous song of power. A short distance away, a diesel engine transmitting power by means of a belt drives the gin. Fuel records show that diesel-powered gins are profit producers. A gallon of fuel costing six cents furnishes power sufficient to gin a bale of cotton. This three-stand gin processes 3,000 bales a season. Modern hydraulic presses pack the light, fluffy cotton into heavy bales, which are bound with straps of iron, and the cotton is ready for market. After grain is grown and harvested, it is delivered to the mill for grinding. An international power unit selected for its adaptability and low operating cost supplies power for the mill. Into the sack pour 3,000 pounds of feed and 800 pounds of buckwheat flour every hour. While back in the corner, out of the way and without attention, the engine works on steadily, day in and day out. Abundant power in machines of many types mines and transports millions of tons of ore and coal for heavy industry. Heavy industry is concerned with the application of power to tough jobs. Lumbering, oil field work, quarrying, and other operations call for engines and equipment built for the work they are required to do. The engine powering this shovel is especially adapted to meet intermittent demands for power. Equally well engineered for the job is the international truck, which delivers the rock to the crusher. Here, 400 tons of limestone are crushed every day. Supplying power to crush stone under conditions of extreme heat and fine dust is an engine sealed from dust at all bearings and having a large cooling system. The crusher must take the kickback of shattering and crushing big chunks of hard limestone. After the stone passes through the crusher, an elevator raises it to the screens, which sort the material into various sizes. A continuous flow of power to drive the crushing outfit means the delivery of a steady stream of graded rock. At this pit, a power unit grades 500 yards of gravel at a fuel cost of a cent and a half a yard. Gone are the days when the lumberman must locate his mill near a supply of water ample for a steam boiler. The modern lumberman moves his portable outfit wherever the logs may be. Quickly, he sets up his machinery and in a short time, his saws are humming. And driving the machinery is a money-saving diesel engine. The old-time fire hazard of steam boilers is eliminated. In this mill, tough white oak is made into barrel staves. Economical, these sawyers, they first shape each log so that it will yield the most staves. It takes skill in men and power in engines to cut staves from hardwood. And only engines built by experienced engineers can deliver the reliable power needed for this work. Stacked in piles to allow air to circulate, the staves cure and dry before being made into barrels. Nowhere are engines tested more severely than in the jobs given to them by oil men. 
spudding and drilling, pumping and servicing, power units are doing their part in the production of oil. A spudder is put to work first to assure a supply of water for the drilling rig. Driven by a diesel power unit, the spudder bit is forced down to water. Mother Earth buries her treasure deep, but drills tougher than the rock that resists them are driven down to reservoirs of oil. Pumping oil continuously in every field are international engines adapted to natural gas or liquid fuel, whichever is most economical. And just as sturdy and ready for hard work as the oil men themselves are the powerful engines that help with the jobs of drilling, pumping and servicing in the oil field. Engines for commerce, engines for agriculture, engines for industry. Engines tried and tested under the grind of continuous use. Engines proving their economy as they light the night at thousands of camps, cottages and carnivals. Engines proving their dependability as they propel cargoes over waterways everywhere. Engines proving their adaptability as they help with the varied work of farming. International engines, backed by efficient, far-reaching service facilities. Niagara, on its way to the sea, produces power that is constant and unfailing. International power units, wherever they may be, supply dependable power for commerce, agriculture, and industry.